guys, Zorin Tech here, back with another video. Today we're going to be doing top tech news of the week for Google Stadia. I know we did this last week, but we have some more news this week for Google Stadia. So while you're at it, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for 75 subscribers. If we can get five of you guys to subscribe, we're on the road to 80. So do a favor and just hit that subscribe button. And also turn on post notifications to support the channel. Enough of this, let's get right into the video. So, Google Stadia controller will finally work wirelessly with laptops and desktops. Let's say you don't have a USB-C cable like the one back there, um, if you have an older device and you just want to use your Stadia controller with your device, and fear no more. Starting this week, since the Cloud's gaming service has launched in November, the only way you could use your controller wirelessly was if you are playing Stadia on your TV with a Chromecast Ultra. You still can't use the Stadia controller wirelessly with an Android phone. Sorry if you have an Android phone, though, and it's not clear when that functionality will or might arrive. So it might arrive later in the future, so just hold on, or if you have a computer, go ahead and use it. But I'm pretty sure that's including Chromebooks that you still need to... Actually, no, it's not a Chromebook because it's technically a PC device. So when used wirelessly, the Stadia controller connects to Google's servers over Wi-Fi instead of connecting to the device in front of you in over Bluetooth. So that's a really nice feature um, because if some and most devices support Bluetooth, but this might be good or might not because let's say you want to put your Wi-Fi is out and you want to play some offline games with your Stadia controller, then you can't use it wirelessly because it, it runs over Wi-Fi. But if you but if you're just you know playing games normally, you this is definitely cool in front of you. Like most other gaming controllers, Google says this helps the controller deliver precise controls to the user. So. It might be, do, is it better to have a cord? Probably, because there's a secure connection between the cord line and your computer and the controller. So, but Wi-Fi, there could be interference with the traffic of the Wi-Fi. It could have delay, you know, like could be delayed like normally Stadia does. That has some delay with um, controls, but if you're if you're into wireless gaming and you don't have an xbox or ps4 controllers which already work wirelessly you can go ahead and use your stadia controller finally i we're all excited for this to uh, finally arrive so yeah you can t you can buy a stadia controller for 60 bucks um but you can buy a like the stadia controller with chromecast ultra for a 20 120 bucks with three months free of Stadia Pro subscription. But you, if you don't know what a Google Chromecast Pro is, you basically plug it into your monitor TV, and then you can ask your Google Home, you say, hey, Google. And then it goes ahead and pops up, and then you can say, play, let's say, YouTube, some what a name, uh, open YouTube or play a YouTube video, and then it will ask, do you want to play this on Chromecast Ultra? And then it will say, okay. And you can go ahead and play a bunch of YouTube videos, Netflix, whatever you guys want. And it also gives three months free of Stadia Pro subscription, which I think is a cool thing. Um, Stadia is a gaming plat a cloud gaming platform. You don't even have to download any games or apps onto your device. You literally open the web browser. You can play things like Player Unknown Battlegrounds which is with recently released with Stadia and Border, Sun, Borderlands 3, but I'm not going to spoil so You guys can go check out the website with the links in the description below. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, stand for an upload. Also, subscribe for a shout out. Comment down below you subscribe and you'll get a sh shout out my next video. Find more subscribers to 80. Just hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.